All right, it is Sprinter here in Northeast Wyoming. So we're actually, I don't know, about a week into spring right now, but we got some snow. Anyway, I have eggs in the incubator. What does that mean? Today, I am going to candle those eggs, gonna take you guys along with me, show you how I do that, and what these eggs look like at about a week of being incubated. Now, I was gonna start these way earlier in the spring in my incubator, but, our rooster died. I was gonna start these chicken eggs for our kids, kind of show them uh, how we incubate eggs, what they look like when we candle them, stuff like that. Well, our rooster died, oh, a couple of months ago, so had to find a couple more roosters, which we did. So these eggs are just a barnyard mix of chickens here. The roosters are black Sumatras. We've got some barred rocks, uh, Rhode Island reds, Aisha reds. All right, so here in the winter time, or sprinter, I guess is what it is, I like to give the chickens just a little treat here. We're gonna do this real quick before we candle eggs. So Grub Terra, it's black soldier fly larvae. So just gonna give the chickens a little bit of this right here. It helps them with their eggshell health, their feathers, their overall health, everything like that. Now, if you guys wanna try this out, I'm gonna go ahead and post a link in the description down below with a code, Broken Arrow, and get 10% off your first purchase here. So go ahead, check it out, give them a try. All right, I'm gonna go grab the family, head into the brooding incubation room and go and candle these eggs and show you guys what is going on. Emu's fighting behind me. All right, so we're inside the incubator slash brooding room right here. All right, so this came from the internet uh, with just a cheaper model. Just seeing how it does here. Uh, I think it's been doing pretty good. It's got the automatic turner in there, uh, holds the humidity in there, tells you what the humidity is with this thing. So let's take the lid off, start candling these suckers. <laughs> So, so some incubators have a built-in candler. This one actually does on top, but I don't have the room for it. So just a flashlight and like a toilet paper roll or a paper towel roll works well for that. All right, so these have been in here for nine days. I like to candle them between seven and nine. So I think there's 48 in here. So let's take a look. Okay, so I don't think this one is good because at this point there should be veins in there that you can see. So this is not a good egg. And as you can see, the darker colored eggs are pretty hard to see. Can't see anything. I mean, this is a blue egg, so you can't hardly see anything with that. Thanks, Jace. Here's a brown egg. Whew. Nothing. Careful. No, you see That's anything? Red. Okay, so there's a dark spot in here if you can see that. So that means there's something in there. What happened, Trey? What happened to the egg? In there. Did it crack? Yeah. That. So this was an egg that Jace had dropped, had a casualty. As you can see, that's nine days right there. Whoa. So here's that light on the incubator, it's built in. I'm gonna see if it's a little bit brighter than what my flashlight was. You can see right there, there's something in there. So it's a, it's a really dark eggshell, but if you look right here, you can see the development has started. So you see that dark spot right there? Yep, as you can see a dark eggshell, but you can still see the development. And if you look right here, so this dark spot, that's actually the eye of the chicken. You can see it move if you look at it close enough. So that's the only white egg we had in the batch and you can see how clearly you can see through it and it is not viable.
all those eggs we got candled, and out of 48, there's about 30 viable ones. So maybe the roosters haven't been doing their job, or we didn't have them with the hens long enough before we set the eggs, but sometimes that's just how it goes, and that's why we want to candle these eggs, is to not be keep cooking, incubating a rotten egg, so we'll get rid of those. All right, so there's just a look at how we candle eggs here. And like I said, it's a family affair. Wanted to get the boys involved in this and uh, show them what this is all about. All right, so the next step is to get a brood room set up and ready to go for these guys. I'm gonna go ahead and link this video right here. Go ahead and check that out as far as setting up a chick brooder. Go ahead and boop the like button, hit the subscribe button. I thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.